The Infinix Note 7 has been announced for about a month now and it was launched in Nigeria on the 14th of May 2020. You would have seen a lot of videos about the device and the hype of this device was much. And that's a good thing, the Infinix Note 7 truly worth the hype. The Infinix Note 7 is the latest and largest smartphone from Infinix Mobility as of the time this video was uploaded. This is my unboxing and review of this large smartphone. In this video, I will be sharing with you my thoughts about this device and things you should know before you purchase it or not. Also check the description section below to get access to my review on the Infinix S5 and S5 Lite or you click the card above to watch. Also make sure you like this video and also subscribe so you would be the first to know when we post new videos and a video of the Infinix S5 will be coming soon so please turn on post notification while you subscribe to the channel. Let's move into the full details of the new Infinix Note 7 and the sub will be great to get from you. First let's open this box and see what's inside. When you open the box you get the smartphone, a transparent silicon case, a SIM ejection tool, a screen protector, a micro USB to USB type A cable, an 18 watt charger and a piece of earphone. About the device itself, it comes with a hole punch camera at the top, unlike the Infinix S5 Pro that houses a pop-up camera. When it comes to build quality, the Note 7 feels premium for a budget price phone. On top of the Note 7, you have nothing, and on the right, you have a volume rocker button and power button, which also doubles up as a fingerprint sensor. On the left, you have a 3 in 1 tray that houses dual 4G LTE nano SIM card and an SD card. On the bottom, you have a second speaker, a micro USB port, microphone, and a 3.5mm headphone jack. The Note 7 houses a quad camera setup and a quad flash in the circular camera layout. The Note 7 is a huge device. The curved back and frame are made from plastic and has a nice looking reflective color pattern. The front houses the earpiece, which also serves as the second speaker. On the front, you would see a tiny punch hole at the top left. The Note 7 is 6.95 inch HD Plus IPS LCD display with 20.5 by 9 aspect ratio with a resolution of 720 by 1640 pixels and a PPI of 258. That is, you will be able to watch YouTube videos at 720 pixels. The Note 7 has the tiny blue LED that indicates when charging the device. On the front, it is a Corning Gorilla Glass on the Infinity O display. For color options, they are Forest Green, Ita Black, and Bolivia Blue. The Note 7 has a lot of Bluetooth that can be uninstalled, but not all. You get Phone Master and App Lock for privacy and security. Also, Social Top, which gives you some WhatsApp features. For those XPen fans, it is probably a deal breaker for a lot of Note fans, but we hope to see a Note 7 Pro with a stylus XPen. The fingerprint sensor on this Note 7 is located on the right side of the phone together with the power button which is way more accessible and it's cool than having it on the back. The fingerprint sensor is very fast and it is the best we have seen so far on an Infinix phone. The Note 7 also has face unlock and it works accurately fast but it is less secure. The Infinix Note 7 boasts of two stereo speakers which are really loud but not the loudest speakers. The sound quality of the microphone is not that great, but since it is a budget phone, it is okay. The Infinix Note 7 is running on Android 10 with XOS Dolphin version 6.10 and the device supports that mode. Talk more of processing power, storage and battery capacity, the Note 7 comes in 3 different storage options which are 64GB storage and 4GB of RAM version, 128GB of storage and 4GB of RAM and 128GB with 6GB of RAM. The Note 7 comes with MediaTek Helio G70 processor and the G70 processor is good for gaming. It handles it well with no drag latency. For battery capacity and performance, the Note 7 has a 5000 mAh battery and will last you for about 11 hours under heavy usage but if you are a light user, it will get you through a full day or two days of use. Charging this device will take you 2 hours using the 18W charger version 3.0 in the box and the charging speed is not bad for a battery of this size. For the camera, you get a 16MP f2.0 front facing hole punch camera with no front facing flash, instead you get a screen flash. And on the back, it is a circular layout 48MP f1.8 wide camera 
2 megapixels with 2.4 macro lens, 2 megapixels with 2.4 depth sensor, and 2 megapixels 1.8 dedicated video camera for night mode. It supports 1080p at 30 frames per second as the maximum shooting resolution and also one feature is that the fingerprint reader can act as the shutter button when you tap it lightly in the camera mode. What are your thoughts about the Infinix Note 7 coming to your country? Drop your thoughts in the comment section below and also subscribe as well. For the specification data, the Infinix Note 7 runs on Android 10 operating system. Processor name MediaTek Helio G70 Processor speed octa-core 2.0 GHz, dimension 173.4 by 79 by 8.8 mm, weight 206 g, screen size 6.95 inches, screen type IPS LCD, screen resolution 720 by 1640 pixels, memory card slot yes, color available forest green, ester black, bolivia blue, battery life 11 hours benchmark on heavy usage. The current price of this device will be in the description section of this video below as soon as it is launched for sale in Nigeria. In conclusion, does the Infinix Note 7 worth it? Yes, it does. It is a well-built phone that is going to serve you well. Thanks for watching this video to the end. To see my upcoming videos, follow the steps. 1 like, 2 comment, 3 subscribe, and 4 share. I am Kingsley on SK World Tech, signing out.